Hey folks, I'm Brett Kinsella. I have early access to ChatGPT plugins, and I've been doing some videos. You should check out the one I did around Lowe's and e-commerce, around Expedia and booking flights. And right now I have something I think that's even cooler to show you. And this is how Wolfram Alpha integrates with ChatGPT. So some of you are familiar with ChatGPT plugins model, and it is limited access right now, but when you do get access, you'll be able to select the plugin model first. You have to say there's plugin, not GPT-4, and then you select which plugins you want active. In this case, I just made sure that Wolfram Alpha was active, and I'm going to do something that should be right in the sweet spot for what Wolfram is good at, compare population growth between two, com two countries uh, over a 100-year period. So I picked Italy and Mexico, and we're going to do... 1920 to 2020. So then the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to start thinking and you'll see the cursor and the response up at the top is going to blink, but it's not going to start generating yet. It's going to actually select the model or the plugin that it's going to use. And you can see when we click that, we get some information. You've probably seen me do this in other, uh, in other videos here, but you can see what it's actually looking for from from Wolfram, and it gives a little bit of information down at the bottom about how it wants it to respond. And you can see that the generation is starting. And we'll close that up so it's a little easier to see what's on the screen. So it gives me the data in bullet point format for Italy and for Mexico, and then gives me this really cool chart as well, uh, which I did not ask for. I've done this before with other tests where I asked for the chart as well and it generated, but this one just did it automatically, which I think is really great because it gave me the bullet points. It answered the question very much like ChatGTP might in the past if it had access to Wolfram Alpha. But then it also added this additional benefit of generating a new chart that might be useful. Now, what can we do next? So I said, oh, well, maybe we can add France to this chart. And it's going through the process. And it's just going to regenerate the same prompt. It's going to remember what I asked before. And so we've got Italy coming up, we've got Mexico coming up, and right below that, we're going to see France. Now, the big question will be, does it add it to the chart or not? And we can see that in the generation, it's, it's asking for information from France, and when we see that communication back and forth between ChatGPT and the Wolfram Alpha plugin, but look, here's what we've got. It actually has France in that chart as well as uh, Italy and Mexico from before. It's got the additional bullet points around France. I just think this is so cool. There are many things about ChatGPT with plugins, which I think are kind of difficult from a UX standpoint, but for something like this, it really just exceeds my expectations. I think it's amazing. If you want to see more demos like this, market data, daily news, we have a free newsletter, Synthedia, go to bit.ly forward slash uh, Synthedia. And that's it. And you sign up, it's free. And we'll show you more things like this, daily analysis, news rundown. Let me know in the comments what you think about something like this. I think this is super useful and it really just takes GPT to the next level. All right, folks. Bye-bye.